Good morning. This is Pastor Jeff. This is our daily lectionary readings for Saturday, February 11, 2023. We have our three readings. Once again, these readings help us prepare to what's going to be happening at church on this Sunday. Our psalm reading, once again, is Psalm 119, 1 through 8. Our Old Testament reading comes from the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 30, verses 1 through 9. And then our New Testament reading comes from the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 15, verses 1 through 9. Let us listen in to the scripture as we hear it in the New American Standard Bible today. Psalm 119. Blessed are those whose way is blameless, who walk in the law of the Lord. Blessed are those who comply with his testimonies and seek him with all of their heart. They also do no injustice. They also walk in his way. You have ordained your precepts. The ways are to keep them diligently. Oh, that my ways may be established to keep your statuses. Then I will not be ashamed. When I look at your commandments, I will give thanks to you with uprightness of my heart. When I learn your righteous judgments, I will keep your statutes. Do not utterly abandon me. Our Old Testament reading, Deuteronomy 30, 1 through 9. So it will be when all these things have come upon you, the blessings and the curse which I have placed before you. And you, call them to mind to all the nations where the Lord your God has scattered you. And you return to the Lord your God and obey him with all your heart and soul in accordance with everything I am commanding you today, you and your sons. Then the Lord your God will restore you from captivity and have compassion on you and will gather you again from all the people where the Lord your God has scattered you. If any of your scattered countrymen are at the ends of the earth, from there the Lord your God will gather you, and from there he will bring you back. The Lord your God will bring you into the land which your fathers possessed, and you shall possess it. He will be good to you and make you more numerous than your fathers. Moreover, the Lord your God will circumcise your heart and the hearts of your descendants to love the Lord your God with all your heart and all your soul so that you may live. And the Lord your God will inflict all these curses on your enemies and on those who hate you, who persecuted you, and you will again obey the Lord and follow all his commandments, which I am commanding you today. Then the Lord your God will prosper you abundantly in every work of your hand, in the children of your womb, the offspring of your cattle, and in the produce of your ground. For the Lord will again rejoice over you for good, and as he rejoiced over your fathers. Our New Testament reading comes from the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 15, verses 1 through 9. Then some Pharisees and scribes came to Jesus from Jerusalem and said, Why do your disciples break the tradition of the elders? For they do not wash their hands when they eat bread. And he answered and said to them, Why do you yourselves also break the commandments of God for the sake of your tradition? For God said, Honor your father and mother, and the one who speaks evil of father or mother is put to death. But you say, whoever says to his father or mother, whatever I have would help you, has been given to God. He is not to honor his father or mother. And by this, you have invalidated the word of God for the sake of your tradition. You hypocrites rightly did Isaiah prophesy about you by saying, this people honors me with their lips, but their heart is far away from me. And in vain do they worship me, teaching doctrines as the commandments of men. And here ends our readings for the day.